Hey yeah, guys, so I'm going to be doing a video um, on how to survive middle school, but the academics version. And I know there's a lot of how to survive middle schools, but this is strictly academics and the actual ed ed education you will be getting in your um, middle school years. And here's how to prepare and how you should take and just yeah, a bunch of tips I have for you. So the first one is to buy a planner. And here's my planner. The reason you need a planner or probably it's a good thing to have is because it helps you stay organized and not just, you know, I really don't have an expl explanation for that. And then you also know you like know what you need the day that you need it. So say you need Sharpies Tuesday the 9th, and I wrote that in my planner earlier on an earlier take if you guys are curious. But say you need Sharpies that day, and you're just like, okay, I'll just remember it in my head. Sometimes they'll forget or, you know, stuff like that. So having a planner is really great because you just write it the day you need it, like on the day that you need it or the day before, um, and you're just like, okay, I need this this day. Um, and if it's like the day before, like it's due the next day, then you can just put it as homework for that night. Um, so, yeah, you know, like the school supplies you need the, that day. And you also need, you know, the due dates for your work so you have no excuse to... Sorry, I'm pulling on my sock. Um, so you, so you don't have an excuse to not have your work unless you know, like my family, a family member passed away or something like that, or my family member was in the hospital. If you have a legitimate excuse, use that. But, um, um, you don't have an excuse for like not. Otherwise, you don't have an excuse for not having your work because, like, you know, the day it was due, and yeah. It also helps you plan out big long-term projects and assignments and, like, book reports and stuff like that. Um, so you knew what you were going, so you could be like, okay, I have to have this done by this day. So, yeah. Um, it's also really important to get work in on time. And a lot of people tend to slack off during middle school because it doesn't go to your college credits. And I will elaborate more on that later. But they slack off a bit and they don't do their work and... Or they don't get it in on time and this will help you like remember to get it on in on time so like I said no excuses so my next tip is to I'm looking down at my notebook by the way um, if you need work or if you need to get like work um, missing work or like if you need extra help get it um, if you need like missing work you know collect sheets that you didn't receive maybe you're sick or um, maybe you lost it it's you may be embarrassed that you lost it, but honestly, it's better late than never. So just ask. And if you're oh, if you're absent and um, you get like the work the day after the next day or whatever, um, they will not count it missing. Um, so yeah, they count it absent, but it doesn't affect your grade at all so anyways um but you do need to get it and otherwise it will count missing but so next um so next kind of like related so if you need to work or if you need help get it because if you're sincerely trying and you just can't seem to get good grades and maybe there's a reason for it maybe, maybe like maybe you're just not sure ask a teacher how you can improve it they will honestly respect you for asking the questions to improve your grades um, and it does actually help so yeah they won't like if you're like I'm failing I need some help what can I do to stop this they they won't like judge you for that I don't know why they would but yeah and the next one is to head your papers which doesn't seem all that important but it is. It's important for the teacher, important for you, because if you do have, like, no name on your assignment, and or, like, not your your period or whatever, um, and that's kind of confused your, the teachers, and um, if you don't have your name, like, they can't just guess. They have five or six classes, and, yeah. So, the first thing you want to do, oh, and I believe you have to have your papers in high school. I'm not positive, but whatever. Um, the first thing is your full name, and I put Brittany Garvin-Flargan. <laughs> That's not my last name. 
<laughs> but that's a cool last name. If you have the last name, Garvin Flargan, comment below. <laughs> Anyways, and then the next line would be the date. And then the line after that would be the subject, comma, period. So here, and then the next one would be my assignment, the assignment name. Here's my example. Brittany Garvin Flargan. Brittany Garvin Florgan, 9-14-11, which has no significance, obviously, because it hasn't happened yet. Um, science period, too. That's just a random example. That was my science period last last year. And then volcanoes, which let's pretend that's the, the name of the assignment. So, yeah, it is important. The next, my la next and last tip, the big tip, is to practice your work high habits for high school and this is more related to the actual a academics this is just how to like improve academics and this is like it um this is the big this is the big bam um anyways <laughs> uh, yeah. um uh people like i said earlier people slack off because it doesn't go towards um college credits but your call your high school classes do and if you 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 will tend to get in the habit to not do your work or slack off and um like if you start doing that so make sure to prepare and yeah because in high school it is definitely more important but middle school is actually pretty important too um it it's there for a reason. It's not just worthless three years of your life. It's just not the filler, you know, connection. Like, elementary school, you know your basics. High school, it's preparing you for college, which is incredibly important. And that's how you get into college. So those are really important years of your life. But um, middle school is actually incredibly important, too. So, but do, like, work, get into work habits for high school. There's a lot of people who are like, oh, okay, my 6th and 7th year are slack off. It's not really important anyways. And then 8th grade year, I'll just bring it on. But shame. But they're already in those habits from 6th and 7th grade year. And now, 8th grade year, they're screwed. Because they are they already have bad habits. And as long, as hard as you try, you you are in those habits. You can't get out. It's like a big ditch you dig for yourself. Why do you dig yourself in a ditch? <sighs> Okay, so anyways, um, that was, that was interesting, ah, uh, mental breakdown, anyways, but do, so, here are little tips, study for your tests, that's important, um, do your work, ah, yeah, yeah, you, I see you procrastinate, do it, um, try hard to get good grades, yeah. And those probably go without saying. Don't know if I have any more tips for you, but basically it's do stay organized too. Um, I do have organization videos, which you, know, you might want to check out if you really are bad with organization. But um, keep work together. If you have missing work and then you throw it away, you're like, oh crap. And like, say you, because you actually did it. I've had that happen to me. Good thing I still had the work, but anyways, it's important for you to keep that, and you can keep it all nice and organized in your binder, and stuff like that. So, I don't know how, if I have any more tips for you. If you want me to do a part two, and I can come up with a bunch of other crap, <laughs> I can I can do that. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.